I loved everything. The appetizers were really good. Um, for our main dish, the only difference was really he had the grill, I had the Peruvian chicken, but it came with the same sides. Um, I thought it was a soup, like a bean soup, but I think it was sauce I think she said it was sauce bar. I don't know, I thought it was like a bean soup. So I ate it separately from the rice, but um, yeah, everything was really good. Now we just have some errands to run and then, you know, heading back home. back home from lunch I actually had to stop at the office store because I needed a new clipboard um, I actually have a work visit in Ocap on Monday and I started packing and I was looking all over for my clipboard and I could not find it so I was like you know what let me just stop and buy a new one because I doubt it's here because the only place it would be would be in my office and it's not there so I guess I lost it somewhere, I don't know. I received a package from a Haitian owned business and I wanna show you all what they sent me. Remember when I went to Asizana Fed back in December and I was trying on the different beaded sandals and all the locally made products. I think they watched that vlog because they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted a pair of sandals. I was like, uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so let me show you all what they sent me. Wait, let me get their card first. The card. Okay, all right, so they're called Le North Candle Boutique. Okay, so this is the card that they had inside of the package. And then the back has their contact info. When they reached out to me, I asked them if their sandals run small because I wear a nine, but all of the beaded sandals that I've ever tried on in Haiti in my size end up being too small. And so I usually have to bump up to a 10 Sometimes the tin is too big. Sometimes I get lucky and the tin fits. And so I was a little nervous. So I told them about that. And they were like, oh, you know, we have one that will work for you. These are the sandals that they sent me. They are beaded. Okay. 
don't know if you can see right here. I have never worn size 11 in my life. <laughs> um, I don't know, I've never tried on anything that said 11 and it actually fit because, you know, obviously I wear nine, but the Beta sandals in Haiti run small. Let's open up the next item that they sent. Okay, so this is what inside looks like. <laughs> Root that. And okay, oh, this is pretty. Okay. I'm assuming this is a candle because they're called the North Candle Boutique. It says um, cashmere plum. Okay, this is a soy candle. It's 100% natural essential oils. And wow. This smells really good. So this is what it looks like. If it smells this good without even burning it, I could only imagine what it smells like when I actually burn it. But um, yeah, right out the package, it smells really good. So I already know this is gonna be very bomb <laughs> once I light it. All right, so last up is a reed diffuser, okay? So let's see, this is what the packaging looks like. Oh, I didn't show you this. Okay, it's a glass bottle, okay, and it says the grapefruit way. So I'm guessing this is gonna be, you know, citrus, um, which I really like anything that's like citrusy. <laughs> I like grapefruit, so let's see. This smells really good. This is definitely going to have your room smelling very good. So let's see, okay, this is what it would look like. Be sure to check out the North Candle Boutique and get you some sandals, some candles, or a reed diffuser. You know, if they have anything else, check them out. I can tell you, uh, you know, my first impression, this is really nice quality, smells good, the sandals are nice. I would recommend, you know, sizing up, but contact them, speak with them first and see what they say um, and get you something really nice.
We made it to Okap. We just took a flight from Coro Prince to Okap. We were here in like 25 minutes. If we drove, it would have taken maybe five and a half hours or so, um, but that's normally what we would do. Now it's very hard to drive here because the exit or entry points <laughs> in the West Department are compromised. <laughs> so it's difficult to move in and out of the West Department. So y'all know I live in the port au area, which is in the West Department, and that is the department that you all should avoid. <laughs> so, um, but that is where I live. I live, I've been living there since I moved to Haiti. So um, I'm pretty used to it, but if you're not, then it's definitely not a place that, you know, you should visit right now, you know? So anyways, we took a flight here and um, I'm here for work. So I'm going to be working all day tomorrow. That's why I came in today. And then the following day, I'm out of here. <laughs> so this is a very, very short trip to Okap. It's also carnival, uh, which I haven't participated in carnival for the past few years because it is something that the government pays for. I think this year they spent 100, 100 million, 100 million. Why am I speaking English and Creole? Some million good. 100 million good. <laughs> Y'all, when you think in two languages, sometimes it gets a little complicated. But um, yeah, it's just like spending all that money for a carnival. But yeah, anyways, carnivals throughout the whole country, but not all the cities or towns are participating for obvious reasons, but Okap is. And um, since we're gonna be out on the boulevard, we might watch the people passing by, <laughs> but I'm not gonna be, you know, really, really participating. But if they're passing by, sure, I'll watch, you know already there <laughs> so um but anyways since i'm here for work i had to find a hotel that fit within the budget i do non-profit work so this is not like um when i go on vacation by myself or when i when i say by myself like if i go on vacation on my own and i'm picking you know where i want to stay and all that type of stuff no um when it's for work we have a certain budget and i have to just find a place that fits within that budget and um okapa is getting expensive i don't know if it's because Okap has become popular over the past few years since a lot of people are coming here instead of going to Port au Prince. But some of the places that I've stayed at before when I will come here for work, I saw their prices online. I was like, no, let me call to make sure because I stayed here before for work and it was not this price. So I called, it was like room starting at 150 <laughs> per night. I said 150 who? USD? Um, and that's more expensive than Satama. Like that was like really shocking to me. But I called a lot of the places I've stayed at before and they were just way out of the budget. I ended up calling Habitation de Laurier and they actually had rooms within the price range. And I was like, okay, perfect. Let me get one of these rooms. From up here, you have a view of pretty much the entire city. I'm right underneath a mango tree. I wonder what type of mango this is.